Welcome back, random TV review. It's your girl and dad. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. Don't pay us nobody. He over here doing the most. <laughs> Queen Sugar, season six, episode eight. All of those brothers and sisters. Listen, they did some <sighs> twists and turns on me tonight. Yeah, they did. That I, I, I ain't even see that coming. I thought my man, Wes. Was on, oh, Wes. Oh, one of them <laughs> was back all the way in. I had no idea. That it was gonna go this far. That, yeah. 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 But we're gonna get Yeah, into but we're gonna it. get into it though. So let's go ahead and start off with these guys doing farmers. So Charlie was talking to um Ralph Angel and told Ralph Angel, listen, come around there to such and such because we need to talk. There has been a settlement for the black farmers, so now we need to sit down and talk about it because I gotta deliver y'all the news of what had happened. So they go around there and come to find out that the settlement isn't as much. As they thought it was. I said it's just like when you get them little postcards in the mail. Yep. They tell you you were part of a class action lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to do nothing else. And then you get a check for like seven and a half cent. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they had to split it up between a million people in the lawsuit. Well, luckily, luckily, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately enough, there wasn't a lot of black farmers. So can you imagine how much money it was? Right. Because it spent all the way down to each farmer qualifying for $20,000. And then Charlie was able to finagle a way to get them an extra $20,000 under a relief program. Yeah. So that's $40,000 per farmer. So we know that this isn't a lot of money. It's nearly nothing compared to what their land is worth and what right. they have lost in wages and whatnot. Exactly. But what gets on my friggin' nerves about these goddamn farmers, y'all don't heard me say it <laughs> time and time again. They are so ungrateful yeah. when they don't put in their legwork. Right. You sitting at home drinking your coffee and your tea. And, and just signing and your name. out there on the, on, the, on the battlefield making things happen for you. And not one of them I can remember said, thank, thank you. you. No. And especially that one uh, with all that got doing mouth. Oh, this, that ain't enough. Man, I, thought we, I thought we were going to get more. And black people, they always just giving us the crumbs. Which is true. true. Which is true. But what are you doing to go out there right. and make a difference? Because when the last time that I, I seen anything, they had the hardest time to even get y'all on board to sign up. Yeah. To go after them. Right. So now that they did that, I know that all you did was put your name on the dotted line, and they did the legwork, and now you are complaining because you right. got twenty thousand. But no correction, forty thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. They got that PPP. Yeah. So got like, so like Charlie said, it's 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 better than nothing. You got something, so it's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, that's just <sighs> the way you have to but, look at but it. But however, she said she was gonna still keep fighting. Absolutely. But like, all y'all need to keep fighting, not just Charlie. <laughs> But I did like how Charlie publicly acknowledged her brother. And she was like, this would not have been possible for if it wasn't for Ralph Angel. He was the one who decided to push forward with this initiative. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, he was rallying up and doing the things to get them to um, sign up. You saw him out there when yeah. they were doing the drive, the mm -hmm. vaccination drive. It sure would enough. not. So, yeah, he was a, a key player in all of this. I do... I am very happy that she was able to acknowledge him publicly because he been going through a lot, but he don't did a lot. Yeah. It's that he thing in a bad where... a place right now. Yeah, but, it's that oh, thing. you did it to yourself. Yeah, you did it to yourself, <laughs> yourself, but you still deserve your flowers where they deserve, right? Right. One thing I could say in this episode, y'all know Dollar has not been my favorite ever since she did what she did to Kenya. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know it was coming back to Kenya, right? She's so grown up, y'all. I said, I don't know if she's just not trying to be stressed out for this baby or what's going on, but she is really like holding her own. She's not bitter. She pretty much told Ralph Angel, listen, at the end of the day, our, our home is wherever our family is. We just need to pick up the pieces and move forward. He's still saying that he's not ready to move forward. And she was like, listen, um, stomach, pop, papoo, where we going to be? coming? Yeah. He told me so well, you know, later on in the episode, he was like, well, I'm going to go and get my job back at the nursing home. And but whatnot. I can't let you breeze past that. Did you actually say that? You feeling dollar now? You, you... I didn't say that. I mean, I basically. Give, I give them all their flowers when they deserve them. And I also kick them all when they deserve to be kicked. So I'm an equal opportunity. In the words of Steve Urkel to Laura, she weighing you down, baby. <laughs> Davis weighing me down, too. 
Lord have mercy. I gotta check my th my thug thizzle over here. They but, got me feeling. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna say this right here for Queen Sugar. I I'm thinking that eight of them listened to us because we are further away from COVID now. It was like let's get Thank from COVID you. and let's come back to the original so normalcy of the show. And I think they're making their way back. Fingers crossed that they will stay here. And we win. Yeah, and we win. Don't don't take us back to the good times. Yeah. No, I don't want that anymore. So let's go over there to Nova. Nova's at her house and whatnot. And she's reflecting. She's trying to connect with her ancestors. No, I mean, her, her space has been compromised pretty much. Yeah. So she looks down on the floor. She sees a piece of glass and whatnot. And she pretty much knows at this moment this, that she has to do something. Like she has to change her energy and do all that stuff. So she gets a knock on her door. It's Jabari. He comes over there with a whole Dutch oven. I was like, what's, what's up in that? Is that some chicken and rice? Like, what's that? He don't fix some gumbo, y'all. I wish he said what type of gumbo it was, though. Was, was it? it the good kind? Because yeah. he said, he said, I hope, I hope, I, I hope, hope you, you <laughs> I hope you good after you eat this in so many words. Man, but, if gumbo is made right, especially, you know, with some crawfish mm, in there, you know, what else put in shrimps? Um, sauce. Really, sauce. just give me the sausage and the shrimp part out of it. Yeah. And the roux is Say, right. Grandma, grandma and them can make some gumbo now, man. So, she's telling um, Jabari, you know, I think I really just need to hit the road. Like, things are just different. I went through a lot. I can't hear properly. I just need to go. He said, well, if you need somebody to be with you on the road, hey, I can, I can come with. Because I'm a digital nomad. <laughs> I can work from anywhere. And I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah. Because isn't the purpose, it's almost like when you go on a fast. Ain't that supposed to be your connection and your yeah, connection you, time alone? Yeah, you supposed to be going to hear from the ancestors. How you going to hear with Jabari there? Mm -hmm. Every time we see a Jabari step in the scene, some skit get muddied up. Yeah, y'all mama Jabari from Greenleaf. You better ask Charity about him. <laughs> so, ended up that he did go. He ended up going with her. And on the way, they get to talking about land and some of the work that he's done in another parish, right? Somebody in our comments last week called yeah. it. They was like, I think the way that we're going to save this, we, we're going to save this land. Yeah, we, yep. <laughs> we're going to save this land is that some kind of way that those bones that was found on the land, some kind of way could get them to consider this land a historical artifact or something like that. And he spoke about how he yeah. was able to do that in another parish to protect and preserve the legacy of the land. Right. So I was like, maybe, maybe this, yeah, maybe this, maybe Jabari is that, is that, is that ram in the bush to help us get our land back, man. Yeah, Nova, you might have to drop them draws, keep that connection going. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take one for the team, man. Hey, if he can say that land, it's worth it. Yeah, but <laughs> but I got much respect to the bro. I don't know if you would get ready to talk to that mm -mm. because they was ready to go in, you know, and kiss and everything. But he was like, "Nah, it's not the time yet because you still you're vulnerable. You still vulnerable. We all know when you vulnerable, you make stupid decisions. Yeah, because you because you do anything you got to do to stop it, it to from feel different. Yeah, to stop it from hurting. So he was like, "Wait till yeah. we get our, wait till we get our feet on some solid ground, and then we can revisit this." And then you can save our land, Nova. Yeah. You know what you got to do. Yeah. We're depending on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, so they ended up at, their, at mm. I guess, one of many of their destinations. And they ended up at the Whitney Plantation, which is a place that I want to go, but I don't want to go. Like, it's yeah. on my list of places to go. So if y'all have ever gone, you let me know. Let yeah. me know. Because I heard that the energy out there is insane. So... They ended up going out there and Jabari was having his moments and mm -hmm. she was having her moments. And earlier he was talking about pretty much like, I think all of us have had this conversation. How could they do what they do to us? And we just have to that reconcile with it without he said, wanting why to we fight. Pick up a shoot. rod for a gun. Yeah. I mean, but we said that back on doing George Floyd is like, you better be glad that America that's all we be glad did. that we want equality and not revenge. <laughs> Cause yeah. that wasn't nothing. Yeah. Y'all y'all seen what Richmond, Virginia did? Huh. They that tore was this place, nothing. they tore this place up. And, and you said it won't nothing. nothing. And they tore it up. 
Ain't toe it up down here. You hear me? And we want the only ones. Oh no, we want yeah. the ones. We we sat in the background and let them do. Yeah, they most started of it. it. They started and it. And we finished. Yeah, it. and we just <laughs> came on in. <laughs> yeah. But um, so they get inside and they go into the church with this um that is in the middle of the Whitney plantation. And I thought this was such a great pure moment when the little girls was walking around and the little girls was talking to the statues Thank of the little girls that were sitting on the pews. And it was so innocent. I was like, oh my God, I got feels from this. Mm-hmm. And the little girl looked at Nova. She was like, you're so beautiful. And Nova was like, and you are too. And don't you ever forget it. She was like, I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I said, like, you better uh-huh. instill that into our little yep. girls. So Jabari gets a call from his boss and some, some kind of way, I think he was saying that he needed to go. Yeah. Or what. I said, how you going to get there? That mean that she got to cut she her? She got mm-hmm, to gotta cut their sabbatical short. But that would happen, boy, when you travel with people. Uh-huh. People, when they don't have no money, they ain't got no way to get no flight back home. No car. <laughs> no car. You got to cut everything you had going on short because you got to take them home. <laughs> That's why I don't travel with everybody. <laughs> But anyway, so say, pick your travel partners wisely. Very wisely. So let's get on to Micah, right? So Micah is having a conversation with Isaiah, and he's really thanking Isaiah for his friendship. He was like, I was in a really dark place, and you came in my life at a time where I needed someone that was just going to be there for me. You got me breathing, mm-hmm. meditating, meditating, doing all that stuff. And, you know, and Isaiah was like, you know, no problem, bro. You know, no, this that's, is... Yeah, that's, this that's is, what we do this when we're friends. We so Isaiah has an opportunity to see Micah's finished work with his photography and whatnot. And he was like, this needs to be seen, yo. Like, you really need to put on a showcase, maybe. You know, in the frat house, something like that. And, you know, he's like, mm, I don't know about all that and whatnot. But then it quickly spun around... <laughs> To where he was going to do a showcase over there at Hollywood spot. The real spot. And I was like, okay, I'm yeah, not even going yeah, to try to read it. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how it went from the campus all the way over there too. Like, yeah, so they, was a jump. Yeah, so they get over there. <clears throat> before they were able to have this opening of that scene, Hollywood and our vibe was over at the house. And he noticed that she was moving a little slow. She mm-hmm. was a little sluggish. Like she looked like she was shutting down. And he was like, you all right? You know, Shay, you good? And she was like, I just need to lay down. I'm tired. We don't been through a lot. And I'm like, Lord, she going through a freaking flare up. Yep. And he was like, well, I'm not going to go to the showcase. You know, we can, we can postpone this because family mm-hmm. over everything. Yep. You know, she was like, nope. This is Micah's night. Hollywood sound like me. Yeah, <laughs> Stella will shut it down. down all of it down. <laughs> Make sure the queen is good. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Hell about it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she convinces him, like, okay, go ahead and go. I'm gonna be okay. I said, Hollywood. First of all, you know who you married to. Mm-hmm. You know that she's gonna tell you whatever it is that you need to hear for you to leave her to buck alone. Right. And as soon as he walked out the door, her go pass out. Right. So, yep. I seen the rashes and I said, oh, no, no, no. She's having a flare. She's flaring up. Yep. And boom. And I said, okay, she's there by herself. How long she's going to be there by herself? If she hit her head, you know, that's not going to be good. Like, what's going on? But over there at the showcase, so Micah has his work all displayed and whatnot. But before that, Hollywood and <laughs> Ralph Angel <laughs> had a moment mm-hmm. where they were like, okay, Hollywood said, I know I was hard on you back then. First of all, you had to say all that. You needed, needed to be, be hard, hard on him. Yeah. And, and Ralph, Ralph said, said, I needed that because I, I was needed, wrong. I was yeah. wrong. I, I did what I did. Yeah. So it, I said, thank you for not allowing someone to coddle you. Right. So he said, but I just want to know, are we good? Like, I know you said you deserve what I did to you, but that don't mean you good with me. I right already now. know it's good. And he was like, bro. that's how the fellas do it. Fellas do do that. That's how we do it, I've been trying to figure out why us females, not me. Especially, especially if it's if it's, it's a good friend or yeah. family and they and they call you to the carpet. Yeah, you're going to be pissed off, but you know that that came you know from a intent. good place. Yeah, they, they, they don't mean no, mean no ill intent. So you will get past your, your, I'll get ready to cuss, right? <laughs> get past your pride, you know, so you can move on and be a better man. You know, we always say that. I want to be a better man. I want, y'all want to be called to the carpet. 
until it happens. Until it happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And especially, I, and yeah. your pride and ego takes a hit. Yeah. 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 So, so kudos, Say, Ralph. Be real for, to me, with me. No, for, you don't. For humbling yourself under the hand of, uh, of, of Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, I'm mad <laughs> shit. But anyway, so the work is up. And there's <clears throat> one particular picture. Even I looked at the picture like, what y'all? Is y'all about to come out as a couple? Because that picture did look real, real relationship-ish. Mm -hmm. So, everybody's looking at the picture. Nobody is really, you know, going in on it. Yeah. But the black farmer, the one that gets on my freaking nerves, he was like, because earlier, they were, you know, he was complaining again about, about 40,000. And Micah overheard it. And Micah was like, you know, it don't really have to be like that. Like, we can really... Mm -hmm. You know, do some change around here. Like we can do, we can have liberation, but we have to be the ones that makes this change. I said, keyword, you have to be a participant, right, <laughs> in the fight, instead of just sitting there putting your name on the line and just waiting for the check to roll in, Mister Farmer Man. Like I was telling you the other day, well, telling you today in a in a few months ago, it's a whole lot easier to be a critic than a than creator. A creator. Real facts. That is facts. Yeah, we talk about that from a YouTube mm. standpoint. That but you but have that, people, you forgot this. You didn't say that right. You didn't do and, this. It's easy to be a critic and not that, a creator. But that goes across every genre, though. It does. Yeah. It point, does. Yeah. Even when you're at a basketball game. Man, you should have passed that ball. Why you ain't shoot that? Why you let them steal it from you? Shut the buck up. Shut the buck up and watch the they're game. they're there <laughs> and you're there. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's what you want to say. Be like, out of all of that, that's, right. that's what you decided to highlight. And you put them in your seat. <laughs> and they will fall to the ground because they can't perform. Exactly. So, look, um, farmer man, come us up. <laughs> oh, so is the, this is the change that you've been talking about? The liberation? I was, come on. I was like, come on, You know, bro. look at this right here. Like, oh, uh, like, like, would you look at this? Come, 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 look at this. Huh? So, would, would, would y'all, would y'all something like together or something like that? Would you? And then um, Hollywood was like, no, no, no. They ain't, ain't even, even like, like that. that. They friends. It ain't even like that. So here come Ralph Angel said, and what if they, they were? They wasn't, yeah. You know? So then Michael was like, no, nah, it ain't like that at all. So Isaiah was like, it's not like that. But what's wrong with men showing each other genuine affection? Like genuine love towards each other. It don't even have to be like that. He was like, when I was in another country, men used to hold hands, do all that. And farmer man said, well, we ain't over there. What are you saying? Well, I was Rwanda. Or Rwanda. We ain't in Rwanda no more. I'm like, come on. I said, oh, my God. So we on this thing. And Ralph Angel was like, oh, what you're not going to do is try to go in. Because Blue played with dolls oh, for a long and time. I, and I won't trip it. But, but Dollar was. Yeah, Dollar. <laughs> That's why we have fake um, Kenya now. So... I knew that this was going to be a start of a breakdown between Isaiah and Micah. Oh, yeah. Some oh, kind yeah. of way. It's and always it confused, out by the influence, man. It confused me. And I'll get to it. So, they wrapped that up. Had a good time. Outcome, other than Farmer Man, was okay. I mean, it was good. So, they get back to the college. And you could clearly see that Micah has shut down. Yeah. Like, his energy is he different. He totally checked out. He, yeah. He's not even, like, responding to Isaiah in the way he usually responds to him. So, Isaiah was like, that was good. You know, we can't wait till the when second the next one. one. You got momentum, bro. And he was like, there's and not going to be, be another one. one. He was like, what are you talking about? He was like, well, I don't think they like my work. He said, you just going to talk about some old dude Ooh, this, that, yeah. <laughs> that's stuck in the past? Like, why would you even let him? But why we do that, though? We do. I, t I told I told the queen I said you go on Amazon because I'm pretty sure everybody's watching right now order off of Amazon. You go through there, it's a five star product, and and one person says something bad about the product. Next, nah, next. <laughs> they said it fell apart on me. The they next got a hundred positive ones, just one negative. Nah, I don't think I want that. Nah, I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it. Yeah, cause we just I don't know. It's just something about us humans. We just. Grab, people gravitate to the negative regardless of the amount of positive. Yeah. yeah, so Isaiah does what Isaiah usually does when he talks to Micah and Micah is shutting down. He touched him on his arm. He's done this a million times. He was like... And he was like... So Isaiah was like, oh... It's like, wait, what? So you really letting what old dude said really get, get to you. you? Like, oh, so then Isaiah gets in his feelings 
And he was like, hold on, hold on. So you probably been talking skit about me, me behind, behind my, my back too. And he gets now that was a little bit. That was a far reach right there. He was, though. He yeah, was, he was, he was in his feelings a, though. But yeah, I was he, far and reach. his feelings was hurt. Yeah. So he was like, you know, and um, so then Michael was like, I be defending your sexuality when it comes to the frat brothers and all this. And he was like, I never asked you to do it. My sexuality don't need defending at all. At all. You're not a superhero. Pretty much what Isaiah was saying to him is, I just need you to be an unbiased friend. Right. Just be a pure friend to me no matter what is my sexuality. And I think Martha is that. he was. He just just was contaminated by that dude. But what trips me out and I'm confused by it, you have a whole group of your peers, your frat brothers looking at you crazy for being friends with Isaiah. And And that has not shook you. you. Yeah. Like, matter of fact, one time when they was hugging, he pulled Isaiah in closer as a statement like, no, this this is my friend. This is my friend. But then you get this one old farmer dude that says something and then you change everything towards him. That's where I got confused at. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, because I was like, if anything, your frat brothers would have, you know, made you turn like that. I didn't get it. So I'm like, okay, so Isaiah stormed off and I was like, please go after him. That's a good friend. Yeah. Like, please go after him. And he even told Charlie when he was talking to her a couple of episodes ago, he was like, I don't care what he is, who he is. Yeah, yeah, what he do. All I know is he's a good Good person with a good soul and he's a good friend to me. Good friends are hard to find, man. Hello. I'm going to put that out there. Hello. Yeah, they hard to find. (laughs) So let's talk about Davis East. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Man, Davis. Whew. So Davis East, he hits Charlie with the A, A O. I don't care what you got going on right now. I got some dear. tickets. Car outside. outside. Pack your whole bag, cause you gonna need a baby. That's a. Oh, what you? Where y'all go? What, what, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> so Charlie ends up at the destination, and it is their old apartment, apartment. building. It's like okay. Go inside the apartment, and it is decorated as if. They were back in their day. Yep. They down there listen to escape. Every man wants a woman. Hey. If that thing did not remind me of T.S. Madison and Kai, every man wants a woman. <laughs> they had to set it all, post it on the wall. And it was another one, too. I can't it remember was, what it was. Um, they were straight behind them. They had pizza, mm-hmm. wine, wine coolers. Wine coolers. He was like, this was a splurge night. We was really Sp- doing it big. Speaking of wine coolers, man, y'all remember St. Ives? Ooh. Man, did you just see? I guess I got yeah. sick right now. We we totally under and under underrated Saint Eyes. Underestimated. Yeah, underestimated Saint Eyes. Did you just see? I physically got yeah. You sick. get you clicked off. Yeah. <laughs> because we used to take Saint Eyes, drink a little bit, and then put gin in it. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Gin or vodka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then go to the go-go parties. Yeah. Maybe mm. they should bring Saint Eyes back. No. No. Oh, they might still got them. We just don't see them in the store. I don't know. Keep that with the wild eyes <laughs> rose. Keep that where. So, we over here, Davis West and Charlie is just in a whole vibe. Like, they are vibing out. They're reminiscing about mm-hmm. their past. She was like, you know, we had so much fun in this apartment. That we came in as two and left out there with three. I said, matter uh-huh. of fact, that's what I did. He got the night. Uh-huh. With that piece of St. Eyes. And that overnight whole bag. Uh-huh. So, next thing we know, this just like totally, totally yeah. took me by surprise. Yeah. He did. He's in his pocket. I said, I know this better not be with. Uh-huh. I think it is. Said it's about to happen. Nice diamond. Mm-hmm. He pretty much told Charlie, listen. This is our second chance, and I want it, and I want mm-hmm. it now. And whatever it is I got to do, to I'm, make with it, it. I'm with it. <laughs> I'll leave my job. I said, hold uh-huh. on, hold on, hold on. We're not leaving no jobs. Nope, nope. Not no good paying jobs oh, right David now. David said, I got plenty of money in, in investments and savings. I, we, need him, we need him to work because <laughs> we don't trust him right now. So we still need him to have that. Oh, you still don't trust him, man? I'm getting there. Okay. But that day ago, Charlie, she said, Davis. Not right now. Not right now. I'm getting ready to run for council. I said, hold on, hold on. You ain't never tell him this? 
Much as y'all be talking. I thought she told him. That. I thought, so I thought she told. I thought she told him on the phone. But now, I don't know. Maybe she was just bringing it back home. And she was like, I'm going to be campaigning for at least a year. Yep. I'm going to be out. We're like, we're not going to see each other. And my headspace is not one that's going to be concentrating on a second marriage. She was like, the road, this kind of pressure is a disaster Disaster. waiting to happen. And he's setting us up for failure again. And she was like, I can't, I can't take this right now. So I wonder what she's saying that from the point when Davis was on the road all the time with basketball mm. and they never were seeing each other. Mm. And that caused, and seeing what yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I think she was reminiscing on that. That destroyed us the last time and now we get ready to do it again. So, yeah. And, and then also I think she needs full, full focus on running for this campaign. Oh, here. absolutely. Cause yeah, so I think to- Davis would be a distraction. The, the proposal would be a distraction. Because yeah. if would Gail King get a hold of that? <laughs> what? And the and the vloggers and the bloggers? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a whole little situation right there. Cause I can't imagine you going around the world and I can't see you on regular. No. Nah, that can't happen. You remember we used to have to travel for our job? That was miserable. Yeah. And that was like <laughs> maybe like Far once, few in between. once like, or twice, twice a, a year. year. And we just couldn't take it. Yep. Like I told them quick. I said, "Can you take my lit my name off the disaster recovery list?" Say, say soon the day over. Facetime. Hey, baby, how you doing? I miss you so much. Say, show me that <laughs> hotel in Boston. <laughs> it was a lot. We have we have attachment issues, but um. So she pretty much told him, "Said no, not right now." And David said, "You know what? I'm a patient I'm man." I'm a patient man. I said, wait. I said this. That was a defining moment. Cause I thought he was really, gonna go. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like, you know what? Just forget it. Sister so and some shit said she wanted to marry me, so I'm going back to California, marry her. And I, I where's his daughter though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he said he in it, and if he got the mood to say Joe, that's what he gonna do. But she was like, nah, that's nah, not what nah. we gonna do. So he took his tail in between his legs, and he said, I'm in it for the long haul. Mm-hmm. So after this come this campaign. We probably gonna have us a wedding, y'all. We probably gonna have us a wedding. So Hollywood gets home. He gets home and he's looking for his Shay. Shay quiet because mm-hmm. Shay high well, is on the knocked floor. out on the floor. Flo. So she don't came. She she's she's conscious, but she can't get up off that floor. And he was like, "Oh no, we going to the doctor." She was like, "No, I'm just having a flare up." He was like, "Listen, if you haven't made a turnaround by tonight, uh huh." Oh, we taking you to, to the to the emergency. Yep. <laughs> Not emergency, the emergency. <laughs> we taking you right over there. And she was like, okay, I get it. So he brought us some water. Next day we know, probably was the next day. She um He was like, you know, I got a little visitor for you. She was like, I look a mess. That's one thing. That is one thing. That is my pet peeve. And my husband knows it. Yeah. So whenever I have ever been down, don't let nobody in my house. <laughs> I am at my most vulnerable moment. <laughs> I can't put my eyebrows on. I probably got crust everywhere because you can't see straight. You hide up. <laughs> Don't, no, we not. And then people be like, man, I would buy Celia. That she look rough. <laughs> no, you wait until I get fine and I can sit on the couch and talk to you. But that bedside stuff, mm-mm. I'm like a cat. I always told people, if I'm sick, you'll never know I'm sick to the point of dying because I'm going to tuck myself away. And do it alone. <laughs> so that pride or something else. Oh yeah, no. oh yeah. You ain't gonna no. see me sweat. That pride, man. Mm-mm. And we got social. We in the we in the world of social media that ain't gonna take a picture. Sa- but in the same breath, I'm not talking about you. You are talking about me. I that we would say nobody there for me. When something happens in your life, I don't nobody there for me. <laughs> I just want them to call. I don't want them yeah. to come. <laughs> I don't want them to come. I want them to call because I know they be a dozy. <laughs> just like. Lord, I had a whole, I can't, can I say it out loud? I had a whole hysterectomy, and I'm trying not to let somebody hear me. Oh, you have visitors? What? <laughs> the nurse was like, I'll send them away. I said, don't you dare let them come back here. I was like, how in the hell did they know I was here? I ain't even telling where I was going to be. <laughs> her, her. They don't told the whole clan. And they up in their truck. They was waiting. Yeah. They was waiting. And I said, I'm over here with just, I'm just open. <laughs> like, I just literally got off the table. No bra on. Hampa is shining. And you got guests? 
No, no, no. Wrong chick. I'm not that toe up. <laughs> no. So, any hoodles. Ralph Angel comes in. What hospitals do that, though, man? I don't know. And they make you put the gowns on backwards, man. What, you A to be all hanging all out. You come. You and know. they never big enough. Yeah. Any hoodles. But anyway. <laughs> so, it was Ralph Angel. And this was the visit that she really needed. Because it was kind of like a forced reconciliation reconciliation moment. But I didn't know Ralph felt that way about her, though. I did, but... I knew he loved her. But not as expressive as But not as expressive like as, he, as he said. So he pretty much was like, you know... They first got on the conversation of... Of I had to admit that she was being selfish. Mm-hmm. And that she ended up looking up that school that... That on um, blue is at, and it's the one of the best schools in the country. And of course, it's in Day Shay. Of course, it's in yeah. DMV, man. Of course, yeah. and we did the last. Um, <laughs> so, um, she was like, you know, you're a family man. You're just like your father, and I know that you sent him away was the best thing that you could have ever done for him. And it was just me being selfish that didn't want to see it, I didn't <clears throat> want him to go. But you did the right thing. So you know that right there just opened Ralph Angel up. And he was like, listen, what I need you to do is not worry about me. I need you to worry about you. You and take care of yourself. Because I don't know what I would do if something were to happen to you. And both of them got to cry. And I said, listen, if y'all don't give this cast their flowers. Oh, yeah. Because they can cry at the drop, drop of a head. God. Yeah. And make you feel what they feel. Feeling, yep. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing like it. Nope. I'm like, goodness. Now, Nova gets on my nerves with the... <laughs> but you feel what she feel. Right. Even, sure when she, even when she was sitting in that church and she just, I could say, oh, she about to speak in tongues. But she ain't. Uh-huh. She felt something. And she I felt sure it did. too. Mm-hmm. Cause I would get ready to go right there with her. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we, we're there. And then um, Charlie comes by and she tells her, you know, about the running, um, and whatnot. So, you know, um, a vibe was like, I am so I'm proud, proud of, of you. Yeah. Because at one moment, at one time, we couldn't even be in the room. room. Yep. We couldn't even be, be at, at the table. table. And now, now you, you at, be the, at the head of the table. She was like, I'm, I ain't even won yet. She said, we're going to win it. But I do love Charlie's unselfishness. So, like, the power that she wants ain't is for not her. for her. It's for them. That's, I love it. That's, and I hate it for her, too. Like, Wow. Because it's almost like... But that's me, though. It is you. That's why I hate it. That's the... Um, <laughs> See, I don't I don't never want an accomplishment for myself. Anything that I'll accomplish, I think about other people. He does. I really do. And I hate that about him. Um, so I'm, I have to reel it in and be like, okay, we need to get you balanced right now because everything ain't about here and everything ain't about here. You work too freaking hard to not think about this. Um, and he's good at listening to me. Not... Too many other people. Because if his mind is set on helping A, B, C, D, 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 it's just the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he would do it until he's broken down. And I'm sitting here like, I took and told you. <laughs> I took and told you. But I love it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think you get your stay hard. Different. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Go to bed. I am. I'm so tired. <laughs> but yeah, that pretty much was like the episode in a nutshell. So I think we're going to find a way to, to save this land. Yeah. Dollar says she got I hope it happened in the next two episodes, yeah. but I got a feeling they're not. They're going to leave no, that as a cliffhanger. Was... That's going to be the cliffhanger. Yeah. And Dollar don't found an apartment. Ralph ain't ready to go you know. to it yet. And I said, you about to be homeless, honey. Yeah. You about to be out there sitting in the, sleeping in the tent. Yeah. So we need to you need to put your pride in your wallet, um, Ralph, and put it in your back pocket and go into that apartment. Mm-hmm. If y'all get the land, you always can rent a U-Haul and come back. Wouldn't it be something if he got to move with um Dollar Mom and Daddy? Oh Lord, wherever the daddy is, cause you know. Oh yeah. Oh, that would be a, a blow to his ego. <sighs> It'd be a blow. But to hopefully, him. hopefully, he done learned his lesson at this point. Yeah, cause Theo do cut his phone off uh-huh, and gone. Yeah, he reached Theo. He gone. Yeah. I said I'd be darn. But yeah, it was a good episode. Tell <laughs> yeah, us what y'all thought good. about it. Straight yes. to the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, two down. down. Holla.